A welcoming party. How thoughtful. Greetings, fellas. Oh, am I early? We... Uh, we can explain. Quiet. You I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Got hired by these two to help. Oh, they look like they could use a hand, all right. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? Uh... Yeah, well... Uh, no, not us! Per se. You any better at speaking full sentences? Um... Uh, there was a shootout? A, a, a guy got hit? Was, was bleeding out fast. Uh, after that, brought your stuff here. Uh, left it all upstairs, so... It's all good. Another smooth talker. All right. Third time's a charm. Is he spinning yarns? It's all true. Happened exactly as Bill said. That's unfortunate. See, I really don't like being made a fool of. Boys. Eat shit, Sacco! when you need them. Uh, yeah, right behind you. Is it over? Yeah. Nothing left but to hop in your ride, flee the scene. I'm sure you can manage that much. Thanks. So are we going to what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks again. Okay, I'll radio us in. Tell them we're back. So tell me, what did our boys in blue do this time? Let me put it this way. This is the last time I do a gig for the badges. Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed. <laughs> V, 
So tell me, what did our boys in blue do this time? Let me put it this way. This is the last time I do a gig for the badges. Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed. For what? Anson ought to at least make his honorary citizens of Dogtown. Yeah, and commend us too. For your laziness. Lack of imagination or prospects. And for work in the studio space. Then a pat on the back, a kick in the ass, and back to work. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome to where the magic happens. If you're looking for preem threads, you found them. No shortage of movie posters you got here. What can I say? Film's my passion. It's my dream to make a documentary about life in Dogtown, in fact. Good luck with that. Hey, it's a compelling topic. Most peeps outside these walls got no clue what it's like in here. It's better than wasting away a corpo slave, I can tell you that. What's trendy in Dogtown these days? You know, I used to be a designer at Ejai once upon a time. Taught me one important thing. Your clothes are a tool, not an accessory, no matter what life you're trying to build. And in Dogtown, practicality is king. Careful uh, not to knock anything over. Is that a trauma team uniform I spy? It is. What happened? Helmet malfunction, mid-extraction. My face was seen by people who, well, who like to hold a grudge. I know the type. I'm laying low here until the heat dies down. That's the hope, anyway. Not a bolt out of place. I'm too lazy to waste time looking for things. Welcome, friends. Welcome to my humble shop. Quite the eclectic mess you got here. That I do. <laughs> Back in Night City, it would have driven me nuts, this much stuff. I used to keep everything real tidy. What were you doing in Night City? Journalist, N54 News. That is, until I wrote a story about the wrong person. Victim of searching for the hard truth, huh? Nah. More like bad timing and worse judgment. I made a dumb call and was punished for it. Well deserved. What are you slinging here? A little bit of everything. What's lost is found, what's old becomes new, what I sell you buy. Such is the circle of commercial life, am I right? Love what you've done with the place. How's a ripper end up at the stacks anyway? Oh, the, the city's so 
It's stifling, Choom. I wanted to go someplace where there's no formalities, no limits. Where I could just be myself, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Got your Ripper license revoked, didn't you? Uh, the fuck do you care? You want a rip or not? Okay, let's see what you can do for me. Just hope I won't regret it. Anything hitches, just come back! At least you won't get bored. He's stupid happy about that. These people. So many of them, though. Wonder which one was the first. 
When he disappeared, Hansen's people said the boy has deserted. His mother didn't believe them though. She blasted his photos all over Dogtown, but someone kept taking them down. In the end, only one photo remained here. How'd someone like you end up here? My owner bought me from some junk dealers, revamped, reprogrammed, and finally infused me with her spirit. Gave Earth and this unhappy wretch in tomb, or change my form whence all my sorrows come. The tree still planted in the unfinished part, not wholly vegetative, and heaved her heart. Uh, your programming sounds ancient. What can I get you? What you got in stock? This food and drink Dogtown's got to offer, hon. Time for your local news. Violence continues to plague the Badlands. Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166, and 101. However, in an abundance of caution, the NCPD has raised the threat level to two. <laughs> Yeah? What you want? You from here? <laughs> Ain't a soul in Dogtown from Dogtown. The fuck that even mean from here? Jeez, what bit you in the ass? Hmm, dunno. Maybe all them years with the NCPD? Or maybe it's the Load Sharks nipping at my balls! Or just maybe it's the whole fucking city other side of that wall! Hard to motherfucking say, Choom! Okay. Sorry I asked. You got a good sound. Good evening, Night City! Tonight In the market for iron. Any recommendations? Yeah. Buy what you want. Don't waste my time. Jesus, skip your morning coffee? I ain't get paid to small talk. You're looking for reliable iron? That's what I sell. Ain't nothing else worth wasting breath on.
What? Why? And how would I even know that? Because I heard he called you into his office. Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. Enemy collaborators to get infiltrated to downtown. I hear Meyer Stiffs already blew it to bits. The NUS doesn't want their tech moved by Dogtown peddlers. I'll believe it when I see it. They couldn't have destroyed everything anyway. Some pieces are bound to be scattered around. I, I really wouldn't advise that. The stadium is crawling with undercovers. Don't we'll regret it. Stop. I guarantee you. Talking the biz of your life. Already regret it. V. A few days ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, that would just be another day in Dogtown. Until I received word from Zeta Tech's CEO. The transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor scavs seem unaware of its built-in GPS tracker. You'll follow their SIG. Go to the scavs nest in the scraper in the longshore stacks. I've sent you more details in writing. Cage. 
We make the corporate dance soon. in the fridge?
I know where she is. Wait, just seeing things. of those who perished, we at N64 News condolences. With the NCPD's cooperation, Militech has already a retaliatory strike on nearby nomad camps. We continue our coverage after the break.
2753. You, over here. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Client lost some items. Tech stuff. Like, say, a prototype and some schematics, huh? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. Mm-hmm. Cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir, Zeta Tech Engineer. Only survivor of the scav ambush. How'd you get caught with your pants down? Zeta Tech didn't map the route? It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. <sighs> Only language scavs speak is brute force. Think you forgot Dogtown ain't Night City. Noted. Now, I have a proposition. Get me out, and I help you find the tech. Yes? Sole survivor, huh? Mercy's not in the scab's M.O. Gotta have something they want. Hmm, you could say that. What they need is my implant. And that, my friend, is priceless. Wait, wait, wait. Telling me you planted that tech in your own damn skull? Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem, uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gog you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech. No offense, V. Of course, unless Zeta Tech forced him into it, made a guinea pig out of it. Why all the drama over some measly implant? Some implant? Measly? Please, this design is a potential Kiroshi buster. <clears throat> we at the firm learned some Santo Domingo riffraff stole it from Arasaka Industrial Park. Naturally, we investigated. I was to conclude the sale at the stadium. Hush hush, not so much as a beep on Arasaka's radar. And well, here I am. Prototech's capricious. Erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer. Sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. And Big Daddy Zeta Tech? All cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototech? Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? Not here to rescue hostages. Look, if you want the implant, you need to take me to a Ripper. Extracting it is a delicate process. Prototype's all I need. Its condition? Whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Uh, listen, I can show you where they're holding them. Fine, fine, let's get you out of here. Wonderful. I knew we'd come to an understanding. Yeah, not a crack open this door. Bypass the security? If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Hey, maybes. 
I already found it. Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh-huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. Jesus, is that... Harry? The man was a real prick, but this... It's barbaric. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zeta Tech. Nearly burned here. Ah. Right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Prem, Got it. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. And if they see the empty cell and sound the alarm? It could get really hot really quickly. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. We'll vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. Time we were on our way. Couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? Huh. Wow. Weren't lying about being an engineer, huh? Hey, as long as it stops working. Should be safe here. <sighs> I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. It's your thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job.
Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... Uh... I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... It would be a death sentence. How'd you imagine playing a Megacorp? Must have had some kind of plan? I did, though I couldn't do it all on my own. I arranged a buyer at Dogtown Stadium. We would have met, were it not for these savages. Buyer could have hazed you, though. True. So I had the prototype implanted. It became my bargaining chip. He knew he couldn't harm me without jeopardizing the tech. I was to vanish during the convoy's inspection at the border. I arranged an unmarked car, bribed the guards, but then the ambush... well... Why are you so hell-bent on clapping this tech? Do you even have the faintest idea how much it's worth? Uh, more than your life, right? Ah, I have no family, no friends. I gave my life to the corporation. The sacrifices I made. And for what? What life? The bastards stole it! The money from the prototype would have afforded me a fresh start. Thank you.